Good morning out. Good morning out there in the DFS community. You got Vaughn, the stat man, coming into your YouTube airwaves. And welcome to the stat room. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's 610 in the AM on a Tuesday. And I can't wait to get back to the NBA today. Um, we got a big slate tonight, guys. We got an 11-game slate today. And remember what I got, what I told you guys about an 11-game slate. You don't bet big on an 11-game slate. For the 11-game slate, for the main contest, you'll play one, maybe two entries. And you want to bet on a 50-50 contest because, remember, guys, it's, it's 10 guys that play for each team. Each slate will have 20 guys play. 11 game slate means you're going to have about 220 guys that's going to play. You have to select nine, so the odds are kind of against you to really win because you got to pick the best nine. So remember what I told you guys when you're targeting an 11 game slate, first thing you want to do is you want to take four games that you absolutely don't like and you don't even look at those four games and you delete those four games. Then you find maybe four five games to target your players that way it's it's easier on you guys man you target the, the four games that you like the best all right so today i'm not doing the um the full lineup i did that yesterday so if you guys want the full lineup just go back on yesterday's video and and get the full lineup and also i put um some notes in the comment section yesterday about other guys to roster in place of other guys so the full lineup is still the same just go on yesterday's video and get that today i'm gonna do the four horsemen because i'm an impulsive kind of guy and i do different things each day so today i'm gonna give you guys the four horsemen all right let's start off because i remember i don't like to waste a lot of you guys time i like to just give you guys a nugget you can go use it and then you guys can cash because i want everybody to cash i want us to win 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 no matter what all right all right so today um we're gonna start this off by we're going to use Alfred Payton. He's going to be our point guard. And the reason why I'm selecting Alfred Payton is he's coming off of a few days rest. Kyrie Irving is one of the worst defensive guys in the league at the point guard position. I mean, he he doesn't guard anybody. He scores well, but he doesn't guard anybody. So I think Alfred Payton might get 40 points tonight. Um, then we're going to go to the shooting guard position. We're going to take Timothy Lawawa Cabaret. He plays for Philly. He's only 4,200, and rostering him, he's a guy that has 35-point upside, but at his price point, 4,200, and he doesn't kill your lineup because now you can get you some stars to go with, with um, Peyton. All right, at the small forward position, we're going to take Jimmy Butler. He's on the road, going up against New York. And we bet we hope and pray Carmelo Anthony plays because Carmelo Anthony has a no defense clause in his contract, so he doesn't play defense at all. And even if Melo doesn't play, was it Kaminskis? He has he has nothing for Jimmy Butler. And Jimmy Butler's coming off of a day's rest. He might go for 50 tonight, guys. All right, then I'm gonna end the four horsemen today with the center position. And I'm gonna we're gonna go with Brooke Lopez. Brooke Lopez is going up against the Philadelphia 76ers, who is the absolute worst defense in the league against the center position. And it's not that they're the worst, it's that they're the youngest. You got Holmes is going to play the center position, and then you have the other guy that's going to play. He's like a, a rookie. And when you're young, you make a lot of mistakes. So Brooke Lopez is a seasoned veteran. He's going to go and he's going to destroy these guys. It's kind of sad because, you know, you're taking advantage of the young pups, but hey, that's the NBA. You know, you have to do well to have a contract for the next year because the NBA goes by what are you doing now? We don't care what you did a week ago. And Brooke Lopez is going to probably go for 40. These four guys and your four horsemen should get you about 175 to 180 points. If you get, you know, your other five guys, you, you stack some good guys, you should end up with at least at least the 335. All right, guys. So that's um, your four horsemen. And what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to give you a few um, low-profile players. And if you're watching me for the first time, low-profile players are players under $5,000 who have 30-point upside. All right, so I'm going to go grab a couple of these guys for you guys real quick to really help you guys cash today. All right, one of my favorite low-profile players of the day is Trevor Booker. He's starting to get more minutes. He's only $4,800. He's going up against Philly. He could easily get you a good 25 points. Um, Marcin Gortat is someone that I like today. He's at home. 
coming off of a long road trip. He had yesterday off to get his legs back underneath of him. And Charlotte is really small down low, so I think he'll do well. Um, Courtney Lee is another guy who I love. I love him at home against Chicago. And my other low-profile player that I like is Monte Ellis. He's a whole different guy at home than he is on the road. And I'll give you one last one. It's Joe Inglis. Guys, he should do well also at home against Portland. All right, guys, that's enough for today. If you like what I did, hit the like button, subscribe to me, follow me on Twitter at Vaughn the Statman, and let's cash today, guys.